So tonight's book was read with permission from Simon & Schuster. Hey guys, so for tonight I'm going to read a story from the best story collection ever from the busy world of Richard Scarry. So tonight I'll read... I'll read Camping Out. Father Cat is raking leaves on the lawn. Bang goes the kitchen door. Huckle and Lowey, Low, Lowley, rush inside the house. Hi, Mom, Huckle, Huckle says. Lowley and I are going camping. Oh, really? Where? said Mother Cat. Well, we wanted to go to Africa, Lowley said, but that's too far away. So tonight, we'll just camp out in the backyard. Can we borrow a sheet for our tent? Huckle says to his mom. Of course, but take an old one from the drawer. Huckle whips out a patched seat. Oops, the sheet falls over loudly. Great, he exclaims, popping up from one of the holes. Here's a window. Father Cat leans his rake against a tree. Woo, I knew I could use a rest, he said. As he goes into the kitchen, Huckle and Lowley dash out, yelling, Quick, let's pitch the tent. So you're going camping? Father Cat asks them, and smiles. He turns to Mother Cat. I remember the first time I camped out in the backyard. My mother gave me her oldest sheet for my tent, too. I was scared all night. Mother Cat is worried. Do you think Huckle and Lowley will be all right? Of course. I'll show them how to make a safe campfire. That'll keep any wild animals away, said Father Cat. In no time, the two boys had pitched their tent. Mother Cat comes out of the kitchen with her laundry, and Father Cat comes out of the shed with a big pile of firewood in his arms. Look out, Father Cat. Whoops, poor Father Cat. He tripped in the tent. Those ropes have to come down, Huckle, Father says. What about our tent, Huckle asks. Don't worry, his father says. I'll show you how to pitch a tent properly. Father Cat helps Huckle and Lowley put the tent up and shows them how to build a proper campfire. Remember, Huckle, Always keep your fire away from grass and trees, and don't forget to put stones around it. That way, the fire won't spread. And before you go to bed, make sure you put the fire out. Wow, Dad, Huckle says. You know everything. That evening, Huckle and Lowley toast marshmallows over the campfire. This is the life, Lowley, Huckle remarks. Suddenly, they hear a cracking sound outside. They both jump up terrified. Lowley hide up Huckle's sleeve. The bushes glow with the light. What can it be? Maybe it's a wild animal. Come to get the marshmallows, Huckle says. Or maybe it's come to get us, whispers Lowley. Just, just then, Kenny Bear pops out from behind the bushes. He lowers his flashlight and walks over. Hi, Huckle. Hi, Lowley. Lowley quickly slides out from Huckle's sleeve. Hi, Kenny, they reply. We were pretending that you were a wild animal. They all sit down by the campfire. Would you like a marshmallow, Huckle asks. Thanks. Oh, Kenny, Huckle says. Do you know any good ghost stories? Yeah, I know a really good one. Do you want to hear it? Oh, yes, please, Kenny, the boys say. Well, it's called the Tale of the Ghostly Claw because of the ghost, the ghost has a big hooked claw. Kenny tells Huckle and Lowley his spooky story. And then, that on... And they say that on nights like this, you can hear the screams of his victims. Oh, who's, who will save me from the ghostly claw? Kenny smiles. I can see I scared you. Um, what makes you think that, Huckle asks. You're eating your stick, that's why, Kenny replies, laughing. Mother Cat opens the kitchen door and calls. Kenny, your mom wants you to go home. Well, good night, Kenny says. Sleep well, and watch out for the ghostly claw. Maybe it's time we went to bed, too, Lally whispers to Huckle. Okay, but remember what Dad told us, making sure to put out the fire first. Huckle pours a bucket of water on the fire. A huge cloud of smoke rises into the air and disappears into the night. It's a lot darker, whispers, without the fire, isn't it, Lally? Huckle, Huckle says. But Lally has disappeared. Poor Huckle has never been so scared in all of his life and he dives into the tent and pops out the other end. So that's where Lally was hiding. I wonder whether it gets this dark in Africa, 
Lowley remarks. Huckle and Lowley get into their sleeping bags. Well, Lowley, here we are, camping out. It's fun, isn't it? But before Lowley can answer, the friends hear a little trickling noise. Plink, plink, plink. Huckle turns on his flashlight. Who's there? He asks, putting on a brave voice. Maybe, maybe it's a ghost, Lowley trembles. Nearby, water drips from the well. Drip, drip, drip. Squeak, squeak. Lowley and Huckle are terrified. They peek outside. But it's just the pulley on the clothesline squeaking. They smile at each other. Now let's get some sleep, Huck. Now let's get some sleep, Huckle says. Huckle and Lowley snuggle down into their sleeping bags. Both begin to nod. Slowly, Lowley shouts, Huckle, look! A big claw-shaped shadow is trembling on the wall of their tent. Let's get out of here, yells Huckle. They scramble out of the tent and run as fast as they can back to the house. Early the next morning in Huckle's bedroom, the two campers sleep peacefully. Huckle wakes up first. Psst, loudly, he said. It's time to get out of bed. Huh? What is it? Yawns loudly, sleepily. Shh, we don't want to wake up Mom and Dad. Let's go back into our tent. They slip back outside quietly and get into their sleeping bags. Good night again, Lowley, Huckley, Huckle says, before closing his eyes. Mother Cat and Sally came out with some breakfast. Good morning, Huckle. Good morning, Lowley, Sally calls. Did you sleep well? Were you scared? Um, uh, no, Huckle says. And you, Lowley? Me? I slept like a log, Lowley answers bravely. Huckle and Lolly join the family for breakfast at the picnic table. Good morning, boys, Father Cat says. I think you were very brave staying out all night. I remember the first time I went camping. I was really scared. Oh, what scared you, the boys asked. I must admit, it was rather silly. I was scared of a shadow. It looked like a big claw. But it was only the shadow of a rake. Huckle and Lolly eat their cereal quietly. Mother Cat turns to Huckle and says... As soon as you have finished breakfast, you can you can you better start packing up for your next camping trip. You said you're going at, to Africa, didn't you? Um, Huckle replies, Lally and I have been thinking about it, and we decided that Lally that there is no finer place to camp out than your own backyard. The end.